This year's Global Risk Report has three core cases, testing economic and environmental resilience, digital wildfires in a hyperconnected world, and the dangers of hubris on human health. Each case represents a constellation of risks, and those constellations are identified through an extensive survey process where we reach out to over 1,000 experts worldwide. This year's Global Risk Report, I think, underlines the fact that risk is interconnected. You can't prevent or forecast these global risks, but what you can do is prepare. When we assess national resilience to global risks, we analyze what we call resilience characteristics. They are robustness, redundancy, and resourcefulness. The second area that we look at is what we call resilience performance. And there we look to evaluate a country's ability to respond and to recover to a future shock. This case is centered on three major global risks. On the economic side, it's that concern around a major systemic financial failure. On the environmental side, it's about failing to adapt to climate change. So what's in the middle? Global governance failure. We have an increasing frequency of extreme weather events, more vulnerability because of where people are, more of the burden being carried by the government, and yet we have the government seriously in debt. So there's an increasing need for financial resources to manage risk, but decreasing capacity to do it. So the challenge today for leaders is how to balance this short-term needs to fix the economy with the longer-term perspectives and risks that the globe is facing. Digital wildfires are misinformation that's out of control, from the assassination reports on a world leader sparking oil price rises. Content that's put into the system that actually can lead to clashes or even geopolitical conflicts. Digital misinformation connects to a lot of other risks. It connects to global governance failure by undermining trust. It's connected to cyber attacks, spreading rumors, undermining people's trust in markets, in governments, in rules. How do we manage an internet that can give us information at the speed of light, but yet we do not know the veracity of that information? And I think if governments, public bodies, institutions follow that route of putting out better quality, better audited, verifiable information, then the risks of digital wildfires will be mitigated. The dangers of hubris on human health, it's about the fact that genetic mutations in bacteria always outpaces human innovation in developing medicines. We have overused the drugs or improperly used some of the drugs, but also we don't have new drugs in the pipeline. So let's take one concrete example. We now have forms of tuberculosis which are virtually untreatable. Half the people who get infected with these kinds of infections will die. And then for those that are successfully treated, the costs for these are about 100 times higher than what we would normally require to treat a sensitive case of tuberculosis. It is much more than just a medical issue, and we really have to um, move on it in that way. Every risk that draws on our capacity to respond draws down the ability to respond to the next one. The sooner that we start thinking to ourselves, what can we do today, the more effective we'll be, and we'll do it at a lower cost. The aim of the Global Risk Report is actually to inspire leaders from industry, from government, international organizations, civil society, to come together to help improve the state of the world for future generations.